It's been prophesied and spoken of for centuries. It's magical and mystical. To the uninitiated, it may seem way out, weird and wacky, but in fact it's grounded in the quantum fabric of science. It is very ordinary, awesomely ordinary. It is ascension. At the dawning of time itself, two flows of consciousness came into being like ripples in space, one outwards to ever greater sense of separation from the all that is, and the other inwards to a greater sense of connection and at-one-ment. It is a feeling within, an increasing sense of harmony and unconditional love, but it's also a physical movement of energy mirrored through our lives and into the outer world. This is ascension. Imagine yourself as the creator, casting a pebble into a universal pond. Ripples form, yet the water itself is not moving, only the disturbance spreads outwards. This is what we see of the physical universe. But the water, the space, stays in place because of the undertow, the movement back to the center, to the source. This is ascension. Each wave on this universal pond represents a dimension, a density, a frequency of vibration like tuning stations on a radio. We may occupy several dimensions clustered together, a realm of existence, providing a framework of relativity, the physicality through which we can gain the ultimate, an experience of life itself. Right now, our planet is on the cusp of a change. The soul of the earth, Gaia herself, is centering her consciousness in a higher vibration in the fifth density. It's one of the most magical phenomena of the universe, the rebirth of a star, a new earth. And through the underlying pull of consciousness, she's inviting all sentient life to join her there. We are indeed blessed to be alive in these times of profound change. This movement of energy, this ascension, whether we know it or not, is affecting every single thought, feeling and emotion we each currently have. We're either making choices in life based on fear and sense of lack, or trust and unconditional love. All choices are formed of this one simple dynamic. It defines the very nature of our existence, the reality we experience, and the outer world we manifest. When we engage the pull of our soul by listening and aligning with it, it causes us to confront all our resistances, our attachments to the moment, our identification with the physicality of life. We're caused to unravel these, to go inwards and let go, in which case the soul integrates internally, expands and reconnects with the natural flow of the moment, with the flow of Gaia, with the flow of ascension. As we confront our resistances and open a wider internal space, these new energies flood in, infuse our being and transform our consciousness. Our own vibrational frequency rises. We become the multidimensional beings we are always designed to be. Ascension is an open invitation to everyone, but it is a choice, one we must make consciously in every moment. You can't force someone to choose the higher paradigm. They have to see it, feel it, and align with it for themselves. Right now, it is only the small minority who are making that constant conscious choice, which is necessary for the transition to happen. As we do increasingly make the higher choice, as we confront and peel away the lower consciousness, we'll feel it with increased sense of peace, at one moment with all things, expanding sense of timelessness, an increased occurrence of synchronicity. We begin to live in two worlds, the two realms simultaneously, one overlapping the other.
Now these two parallel worlds will not last indefinitely, at least not in a form we can continue to live in. A great cleansing is coming to the physical earth, one that is necessary to rebalance the inequity, injustice and lower harmony that has been created here. It's caused a bottleneck in the universal flow, trapping the higher light which is now transmuting and breaking free. So in the years ahead, the old consciousness will fracture, fragment and peel away like a worn out skin. It will look increasingly dark to all those still identifying with the old existence. Accelerating climate change, dwindling natural resources, financial instability, the old paradigm will be churned up, composted, so that the light may release. How you see it will depend on your level of release, your level of surrender, expansion and alignment with the higher flow the flow of love. So now's the time to have courage, to let go. It's time to release the old systems we've depended upon. Financial, political, educational, religious are all coming to an end. They're all forms of consciousness connected by the unraveling flow that breaks apart lower harmonies. They're not needed in the new realm of personal responsibility and co-creative conscious alignment. So why hang on? Why continue to invest in a system long past its sell-by date? A new world is there, and the inner gateways are open for us all to join it. But you have to choose it, in every single moment. To a being with free will, ascension is not automatic, it is a choice. We are blessed to be alive in these times, no matter how challenging they may appear to be. Ascension is a challenge that presents enormous opportunity for evolutionary growth. It is a challenge we are all seeded to master, an entirely natural process, when we choose it.